Hello everybody, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today I had an opportunity, opportunity, yes. how do you say it? Opportunity. Opportunity to uh, assemble a, a console 206RB-5, a uh, single needle uh, walking food machine made by console and we, our customer wanted it to be uh, assembled so we assembled one and i thought i'm going to show you guys how it works just to go over and review the machine overall so um the table and legs is the same as ddl 8700 or 1181 it's the same exact thing okay and the motor that's why i didn't make a video how to assemble it because the assembly is the same as 8700 and 1181 okay the motor is also uh the new take brushless motor, uh, adjustable speed, uh, needle positioning if you want to, and uh, this is the control panel, okay? Machine comes with table, legs, the head obviously, thread stand, LED lamp. Uh, just go to go over the uh, measurements on the table really quick. 47, right, by um, 21 and the uh, height, which is adjustable. I have it at 30, uh, 30, 31 is the most common height. You could adjust, you could probably uh, make it either up to 28 or up to 32 or 33, the highest. Um, again, single needle walking foot machine with uh, reverse. What do you get with the machine? Uh, a console 206 RB-5 part book, owner's manual. Uh, you have, the machine comes also with the drawer and you get bunch of bobbins. The machine is class M bobbins. So you get five bobbins. You get this wrench, 10 millimeter wrench. You get the L wrench. You get this oil. And I tell you why it's tiny oil. Uh, so the needle is also 135 by 17. Most common needle for walking foot is 135 by 17. So both on the 1181, 1541, 1540, 1541, 1508, uh, new take GS 0303, and console 206RB uh, is 135 by 7 size 140 and you get four piece right here and you get a flat screwdriver a 12 or 14 inch screwdriver a flip screwdriver tiny flat head a smaller and uh, actually you get six bobbins and and a smaller a wrench too that's what comes with the machine. Um, and uh, the owner's manual. Now, uh, I'm gonna go and tell you why you have such a tiny uh, oiler. This machine doesn't have an oil pan. If we go ahead and the 8700 or Juki 1181, they have oil pan. You fill up the oil and there is a pump here. This is mechanical. The oil, you just oil it, drop oil. Very good machine. Um, somebody told me today it looks, I mean, when you buy this machine, it's, um, the look, it's from maybe 60, 70 years ago, 50 years ago, when they originally came up with this machine, they never changed the model or the cast, but it's a very good machine. Bobbin winder right here, the same as any machine. Okay, if you wanted to have a needle positioning, it would set up right here. And this is where you oil the machine. I mean, not oil as oil, oil. You just go ahead and drop your oil right here, and it will distribute the oil throughout the sewing machine. Um, threading is pretty normal, the way you thread through the thread guide right here. Tension, adjustable needle from left to right. And the most important part is that this uses the console type 
uh, singer type walking food. We have bunch. If you could close up, Jasmine. Inside, feet is, or maybe I do a turn here. Inside, feet is round. Outside is flat. You see, flat right there. And we have a bunch of these uh, feet in stock. Either you need zipper food, roping food. Um, we have a bunch of feet for walking food on our website. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and measure the bed of the... What am I giving you, the screwdriver? <laughs> the bed of the machine, the clearance between the needle to the right wall is 10 inch. The bed of the machine itself, 18 and a half inch. And you have seven, seven inch across. You have a variety of screw holes for different type of binding or binders or folders, which all the 1181 folders or 8700 folders will fit here too. Like uh, somebody's breaking to a car outside, so. <laughs> uh, you could use the... Um... Okay, so we had to know, uh, it was my car actually, that was... <laughs> okay, so... Um... Where were we at? Uh, we talked about the bed, AS, uh, the, R, uh, the 508 LS binder or uh, 100 LS folder, which is a binder, will fit here. You could use the thumb screw right here. And these are different screws for different type of uh, attachments. attachments, exactly, that you want to use. <laughs> um, what else do we need to know exactly is that this goes from the, need, the stitch length, 10 millimeter, all the way to uh, one. I'm gonna keep it at 10 because I like reverse. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing. I've worked with 1181 before. We, I did many videos and I worked with it just to see how it is. And this is the first time I'm doing this one, but uh, I'm gonna just tell you, I'm going through a very heavy 22 ounce denim jeans, okay? And I have over one, two, three, four, five, six layers of heavy denim. And I'm gonna go ahead and double that by the end of this video. I have a T105 uh, thread, polyester thread. This machine could take anything to T190. Very heavy thread, poly, polyester, nylon, um, and uh, any type of polyester thread, pretty much. Okay, here we go. Butter, it's butter. <laughs> really? Um. Uh, oh, by the way, knee lifter right here. Knee lifter right here, and there is also a knee lifter back here. It better be. There is one right here. You have me right there? The knee lifter right here. Overall, it really, I mean, a different system than um, Juki machine. It looks, again, it's a very, very um, old design. Obviously, this is a brand new machine, but and we sell a lot of consoles. But it looks great. I just started sewing, and I'm amazed. It was really, really uh, easy to sew. Very, I mean, it was nice touch. You have also here, if you, to the other side, please. If you ever need to do anything, you could just open this side and. Dara. You want to oil stuff, you want to see what's going on. Very slim, very easy access to the side panel. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start sewing more because I really like this. So, here we go. Reverse. Forward. Reverse. Forward. 
And we did this now, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the speed, I'm gonna go higher. And this hole that you have here with the red dot is like, like where you put some droplets of oil. You have one, two, three, four, you have five here. You got one in here, six, seven, eight. And this drops up, yeah, nine, 10. This place, you just have a drop of oil. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh. Now I'm gonna take that six layer and I'm gonna try to go ahead and have this really heavy canvas that came with it. I'm gonna oh, man. It's unbelievable. And I'm gonna just show you the look at the stitching. Back and the front. You see the red, I had the thread the bottom thread. By the way, it's uh, side load right here, where the bobbin goes, side load. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a double now. See, should I? Yes. Oh man, okay. I'll go ahead. Oui. What? Are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? Oh my God. So we had six layers of denim top, six la layer on the bottom, and I had that piece of canvas. The two layer, wow, this is the thickness. If anybody calls me and tell me, David, what thickness can we go through? I'm really amazed with this sewing machine. I'm gonna be very honest with you. That is the thickness. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great machine, I promise you. I mean, uh, oh. And I keep sewing. And it's uh, going through it, no problem. Here you go. Console model 206 RB-5, a um, walking foot single needle machine. Again, we measured everything. It's a great machine. I, I love the machine. It comes either assembled or unassembled. Uh, I love it. It's a great machine. It's a very good option. I think it goes head to head with uh, 1541, even though this machine doesn't have an oil pan and doesn't have a uh, oil pump to constantly uh, lubricate the machine. But it is an amazing, amazing uh, heavy duty sewing machine. You should really try one of these. www.goldstartool.com Please thumbs up, support our videos, like our videos, and share them on your uh, social media groups. Thank you for watching.